Funding for Play Outside NC is provided by PNC Grow Up Great, helping prepare children from birth to age five for success in school and in life. Learning isn't just about reading, writing, and memorizing. It's also about critical thinking, problem solving, and teamwork. Take a look at how the outdoors and the objects found there can be used to teach those skills to children. All right, Wesley, let's go. We're going outside, guys. Child care teacher China Ward is located in a rural area surrounded by farmland and woods. It's a perfect place to create an outdoor classroom. What are we looking for? Yeah, we're looking for stuff to build a nest, okay, guys? This activity is called Build a Nest. The children head outside to gather the materials they'll need to do that. It gives them the time to be creative and they can explore and they can just discover things that they wouldn't see inside. Oh, guys, there's a pine cone right here. Let's go get our pine cones, guys, okay? Come on. This is actually an exercise in critical thinking and problem solving. What do I need to get my birdhouse to stick? What do I need to, you know, build my birdhouse? All right, all right Wesley has his straw. Caden, you need to get you some straw for yours, too. They have to think about the life of a bird and actually think about how bird, birds use the environment just like we use the environment. So they had a connection there with birds. All right, guys, let's get our straw and put it in our bags because we're going to need it for our, our nest. Got it? That cool? Yeah. You like that one? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good job. Good job. The children gather pine cones, pine straw, and sticks. On the way back, they stop to get some dirt, too. Guys, what are we going to use this dirt for? Mud. Mud. Well, what are we going to add to the dirt to make mud? What? Water. Water. Good job, guys. And we're going to go build our nest. Ward set up a table outside where the children can work. Paper is used as the basic mold. Then the children mix water into their dirt to make mud they will use to cover the paper and hold the other materials together. Does it feel dry or does it feel wet? It feels wet and sticking to your fingers. And the best part of building a nest was the mud play, where they actually got their hands dirty and they could feel the temperature of the water and they just squished in the mud and just had the best time molding their little nest. Ward says having a good time is important to the learning experience. So if they can just find a way to make it constructive but fun, then you'll actually get more out of them. You can feel it with your hands too. You can rub your hands gently across the surfaces and it's part of that, um, part of the exploration for us and for the children, feel what that's about. Ward is among dozens of early educators who took part in Play Outside North Carolina training sessions like this one, sponsored by the Beaufort Hyde Partnership for Children. They're designed to incorporate STEAM activities into the critical period of a child's development. STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. All of children's activities take place outdoors. We uh, tend to think that the only learning that we can do is within the four walls of the classroom. Now I want you to kind of like open it up, okay? okay. Children love outside, and the outside makes us all feel better. Ward has incorporated many of the activities from the trainings into her own teaching. She says taking advantage of natural objects makes the activities cost-effective too. It doesn't always have to cost a lot of money for kids to have fun. And outdoor learning gives children a connection to their environment they can't get inside a classroom. You see the purple flowers? They're able to make sense of the world by using their senses, not just what they, they, they see, but what they feel and what they hear, what they touch. See, what kind of trees do you think we are? 